This is a uh, Yonkers pastoral, a view from the hill, or liberties. From the scratch on the back of my hand, from the new rose climbing on the porch, up by the dogwood skeletal fingers that reach for a watery sun with a wave of the still brown trees on the basal columns over the river as the Hudson flows undecided north or south by our valley beeline buses that do flow on Warburton every 20 minutes very full and very decided north and south the number one C takes me to the dry clinic to melt with recovery in the deepest pool of regret and inconvenience filtered into little pots of dirty urine that will be examined like my conscience like my decisions to leave just north of Manhattan's green back of liberty standing out there cold and lonely as a fellow sufferer would a hair shirt for a hermitess get her a duvet, bless in New Jersey Bay somewhere sorry but safe and somewhere, somewhere sorry and what did you do wrong to get stuck like this? Meanwhile, back up in Yonkers there is a haven for a girl who hasn't dreamt not of being a princess, anyway, never mind a beacon, never mind. Or an icon, even. She's never thought of gender yet. She only thinks of her next ice cream cone and her dad I love and no torch, no tiara. Who sees a statue and says, Liberty's a girl? And I know, I don't know her, but justice must be her mother. Thank you. This is called a Leatherman. On the wind, wet cowhide, old toques and sweat. Before we heard that rattle breath, once every moon, then his creak into our village. Leave be, he's doing his thing, she would say, motherwise and caring, le garçon do. We laughed anyway and threw rotten crops that bounced off that stiff old steer suit. He would only catch the bread or tobacco our parents could have. One fall, Jack's nosebone nearly caught the waft of his cane. We kept our heads after that, studied his circus instead, slow and loopy like the days were. We knew the guy slept as a bear in caves cold with fire or kept to the glades in the off pace of summer, and that he had no tongue, yet could talk to the world that he walked. After the last war, when only some came running back, he was a giant in our brains. We wondered at his freedom. But then one month the vagabond didn't appear, not the smell or the creak or the need. And that was all for his adventure. But we were out of our gate with provisions at any hint, any whiff of smoke and leather. That's it.